G'day guys, we know that perfect competition is not seen in many markets and one of the assumptions of perfect markets is that there are no barriers to entry or exit into the market. So now we're going to have a look at some barriers to entry that actually do exist in a fair number of markets and that prevent perfect competition. So the first barrier to entry we have is exclusive access to resources. Now, if production of a good requires certain resources and not everybody is able to get a hold of them, then obviously people cannot simply enter the market as sellers. A perfect example of this, imagine mining. You know, maybe you see that mining, particularly in Australia, is going really well, there's very high economic profits being made, sure you would love to enter the market and benefit from that, but in order to be a seller in that market you need to actually have access to land in which there are minerals for you to mine. And uh, What are you going to do if that land is already owned by all the mining companies? Well, tough luck, there's nothing you can do. So that is how we can get imperfect competition, you can get monopolies or oligopolies if you know a few mining firms or one mining firm already own all the mineable land. Next up we have government restrictions. The idea here is that imperfect competition can exist as a result of the government interfering with the market. 